Hey guys, it's Thursday morning. I'm just waiting to start my Adobe stream. It starts in four minutes and I'm nervous. I'm gonna screw something up. Like, I know I can handle the stream. I just mean like technically. Like maybe something screws up when I go to go live because I'm streaming to someone else's channel and I'm like, I hope I have this set up right. Like, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but for some reason it's just like, I, I'm nervous about it. I don't know why. You're, like once I have a stream or two down, you know, it'll be much better. But it's my first Adobe stream, so I'm like, oh, I'm a little nervous. Okay. Okay. Oh, snap. Oh, man. <laughs> nervous. Really. Got my artwork. Got my Copics. So, should be good to go. OBS is looking good. All right, so the stream's been going for an hour and a half. Actually, exactly an hour and a half. Here's a whole bunch of people in the chat. We have 996 viewers right now. It's been over a thousand for a good chunk of the stream, so yay. <laughs> Kiki's sad. <laughs> Christian went to shower, and so Kiki now has free range because he was kind of keeping her in check, but he went to shower because he has to work, and so Kiki's now sitting at my door whining. I let her in briefly so people could see her because they wanted to see her, but... <laughs> I had to kick her out again right away. Poor baby. But yeah, here's progress on the art. I think it's coming along really nicely. I'm really glad I decided to go with the monochrome scheme. And the Adobe stream is going really well, so yay! <laughs> Vlog hype. I love my new hype mode. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, poor Kiki! Baby! <gasps> no, it breaks my heart. If you'd stay in your basket, you could come in, but if you're gonna be disruptive, then you can't, and you didn't stay in your basket. No. Okay, my stream is over. Little Kiki was locked out almost the entire time. I let her in at one point and tried to keep her in the basket to see if she'd behave, but she wouldn't, so I kicked her out again. And then I let her back in at the very end for the last couple minutes. <laughs> Poor baby was meowing outside the door, and she was better when Christian was here, because Christian could grab her and distract her and whatnot, but then once Christian left for work, it was just pesky kiki. <laughs> oh, let me just grab this. Thanks, baby. Here's the progress I made. I do wish I had gotten a little bit farther, but I wasn't sure how long it would take, because I knew the background would either be somewhat quick to do, or it would be very time-consuming, because like I know it's detailed, but it's monochrome, which makes it faster and easier to color. And so, um, this is how much I got done in three hours. And yeah, I, I, now I kind of have a better idea though of like, well, I mean, each picture is going to be different, but I'm trying to find a balance where I can start art in my live streams and finish it in the Adobe streams. But at the same time, they don't want you to like finish your art early and then just be sitting there for the end of your stream. Like I want to be able to work on the art until the very end of the Adobe streams and then maybe finish just the final bits on my own off stream kind of thing. Like this is a bit too much because I have to finish this today and edit the video for it. And today's one of my book days. So this is a bit much left over, <laughs> but now I know, right? That was really, really fun though. You guys killed it by all showing up. Like I made the YouTube announcement and everything. And so a lot of people showed up. The viewership sat right around a thousand the whole time. I think it peaked around 1100. And so, yeah, good first impression on the <laughs> Adobe stream. <laughs> and uh, it was fun. So, um, I would kind of like to continue doing the Adobe streams. So, um, like ideally I would stream every week like that's ideal for them and that makes most sense although I don't know if I can handle it so like I'm gonna aim for that and just kind of see where things go because it's not like it's a whole bunch of extra work on my part aside from just making sure I'm all set up for the stream because like you know this is still just my Friday video it's not like I'm creating additional art so it's not really interfering with much um, and most pieces aren't this detailed, so like, <laughs> I'm not gonna spend this much time on them. But, I don't know, it was really good. Chat seemed to really like it. Yeah. <laughs> so, right when, as my stream was about to start, I got an email asking if I can stream again next Wednesday, just because of like, TwitchCon and stuff. Um, there are a lot of people who have 
um, dropped out of their streams for next week. Like, I'm not sure how long TwitchCon runs, but <laughs> I'm streaming on Wednesday from 7 a.m. till 11 a.m. So instead of a three hour slot, it's a four hour slot, but it starts two hours earlier than this one did. So that one will be a little early, <laughs> but um, it should be good. So yeah, October 5th, I think that was Wednesday, October 5th. Da, da, da. Yep, Wednesday's the 5th. So, 7 a.m. Wednesday, October 5th. These are nice because it like, it's an extra stream time for um, people who, like my usual time zone doesn't really work out for. Like in Europe, it's a good time. And so, it, as long as they keep giving me morning streams, I think it'll work out nicely. So, yeah. Really the only catch is that I do have to edit my vlog the night before, which cuts into my evening time. But, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's off Billy. She's so happy. She's reunited with her mummy. Baby, wow. All right, had a bit of lunch. And I just wanted to mention some stuff about my channel because it was something I already knew but kind of forgot about and then remembered it last night because I was writing in my notebook when I was sitting in bed just ideas of how to better my YouTube channel. So I have it sorted by channel like, Here's how to make it better, even with like my art shop. I'm like, here are the kind of things I can upload to make the shop better, even with my Twitch channel. Kind of going through everything, being like, here's what I could improve to make it better. <laughs> and it reminded me, because you know how I'm cutting back on the art channel videos, I'm going back to uploading every Friday instead of also having Tuesday videos. Oh, my wrist strap is stuck on. Anyway, I remembered that when I started doing Tuesday videos, I was worried that that would hurt my placement in the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm is like this mysterious thing. It's like, it's the math that goes on behind the scenes, the computing that goes on that determines what videos get recommended across the site and that kind of thing. Like what videos are gonna show up in your related video section. And so normally uploading on a schedule helps uploading frequently helps like if you can upload daily the algorithm loves that and uh, for my art channel well, that's impossible <laughs> and so I wasn't quite sure if the Tuesday videos would help or not and I remember thinking that they would harm my channel because I've heard like multiple times from multiple sources I don't know if it's true or not but <laughs> what I've heard is that if you have a video that performs not so well then your next video is less likely to perform well as well because you've hurt your I don't want to say like position like or ranking because I don't think there's actually a ranking but it hurts your placement in the YouTube algorithm if you have a video that does not perform well <clears throat> and so I was worried I was like well most of my views come on Fridays like back when I would upload randomly I, my views would peak on the weekend especially on Fridays that's why I upload on Fridays and so when I added in these Tuesday videos, I knew they weren't going to get as many views. One, because it's a weekday. Two, because they're smaller videos, the art's not as exciting, or maybe I'm not even doing art in the Tuesday video. Maybe it's like a talking type video or a haul. And so I knew the Tuesday videos in general wouldn't do as well as the Friday videos. And so I was worried that this would hurt my placement in the YouTube algorithm. And then I totally forgot about that for the for a long time, for like months and months. And then I remembered it yesterday. I was like, oh my God, because my channel growth has slowed down a lot. And I mean, usually summers, things do kind of plateau in the summer, but um, like my channel's been growing and I did have a little burst while I was at Disneyland. My channel had like a little growth spurt, but other than that, it's been quite stagnant like this the amount of subscribers I get per month is quite low even though the number is always climbing it's like not as high as it used to be and so like the climb from 500,000 subscribers to 600 took forever there was that final burst at the very end when I was in Disneyland but you know it's been pretty slow like relatively slow I mean like it's growing well just compared to before it's growing slow and so it totally makes sense that that was because I was doing the Tuesday video. So now I'm curious to see, now that I'm going back to doing just Friday videos, I'm curious to see how that impacts my channel growth. Will things pick up again? Who knows? So 
I'm curious about that. Plus, I feel like I can put more effort into my Friday videos now. Like, not a ton, because I mean, I'm still working on my book, but um, I'm hoping to, since I'm only doing one video a week, like, make it a really good video. Not that I don't try, usually. It's just that, like, sometimes you take shortcuts because of how much time you have. And so I'm hoping that the videos are better channel growth is better that kind of thing I don't know anyway the point of this is by removing the Tuesday videos I'm removing the videos that get less views therefore I think that will help my channel overall by only having the Friday videos so yep anyway back to doing things oh now you lay in your basket jeez I feel like I touch everything different when I'm watching ASMR videos Ah, I like the sound of these. Mommy, you should be petting me instead. I refilled warm grain number one during the stream, and now we need to refill my warm grain number three. Spoiled baby. Oh my. So I'm just about done coloring this. I'm just transferring clips off my memory card right now. And the doorbell just rang, and I got something good and something depressing. <laughs> and this is what's depressing. Just sold 1.46 million dollars for this house. It's like an average looking house. 1.46 million dollars? No. Why world? That's just cruel. That is just cruel. Okay, anyway. <laughs> the exciting part of this is my red bubble delivery. I ordered a bunch of stuff from my own store as one, just to like see what it looks like. Two, because I want to sort of model stuff and show off stuff in a video promoting my store. And my order shipped in four or five separate shipments. So here's the first shipment. And I'm not sure what's in here. Probably like one or two things out of what I ordered. Okay, looks like I got prints. So, well, these are so cute. Look how it's packaged. So one is a photographic print and one is an art print. So this is the photo print. Steampunk cat. Cute, cute. It looks pretty good. So yeah, it's just like a photo print, photo paper. And this one is the art print. Oh, no, I ordered numbness. I thought what it was maybe and then I was like no I ordered a numbness pillow I think I ordered both so yes this one's the fine art print like on a rag paper kind of thing that's pretty nice I mean I don't want to give you guys too good of a view because I'll show them off in the actual product video it's done oh my gosh I'm so happy with this oh there's cat hair on it <laughs> Yay! I love it! Ah! So now I need to scan it, clean it up, because I'm going to have to scan half and half because this is too big for my scanner. And then, yeah, paste them together, make it all nice and pretty, and then upload it to my Redbubble store because you want to launch your merch the same day you launch the video, otherwise people are going to forget about your art. And so... I got to do that still too. Today's not going to end up being a book day. Let's be honest. I also wanted to film a couple toy videos today. So today's really, it's no longer a book day. So scanning the art took forever because I had to scan it in two halves, like I mentioned, but the halves were turning out to be different colors. I was trying to tweak them to match. It wasn't working. So I kept like rescanning and rescanning. Finally, I have one that works and it's like, it's taken forever, so now I have the pieces all put together, but I'm just going to clone stamp out any little hairs or pieces of dust, that kind of thing, and then prepare a couple different files so that I can upload them to Redbubble.
The white of the paper is a little bit messy, so I was considering cutting out the background anyway to do a shirt, but because the background's messy, I think I'm just gonna cut around it for all products and then just slap a white background behind it for like prints, pillows, that kind of thing, just because the white of the paper isn't quite white and it's very textured and just like dirty looking. I don't know why, like it looks nice in real life, but uh, yeah, I'm basically gonna cut out the entire image and then put white behind it, solid white. I'm actually gonna leave a bit of a white border and I'm using the pen tool because it seems like the responsible thing to do. And then it'll also make nice stickers, so. Yeah, put it in the effort. That's supposed to be a thumbs up. So my art is all up on red bubble. My favorite shirts are always these ones where it's kind of got the print all over the front of it, like that. I think those ones are some of the coolest. I'm tempted to buy one, but I've already I already have some coming, so I'm like, oh Bailey, just just wait. Like this kind of thing. It's kinda cool. And this art was nice and big. It fits on like almost every single item. I think the only thing you can't get is a wall tapestry because I just didn't want to do a wall tapestry, but it's available on so much stuff. All kinds of prints and phone cases and pouches, tope, notebooks, sticker, all that good stuff. So yay! I just know it's Kiki. Yeah. I just know it's you. Also, my video is edited. It's just exporting. Wahoo. And I created a new end card graphic down here. Instead of just throwing, showing three pieces of art, I'm making it more obvious that it's merch. So there's a tote bag, a shirt, a phone case. Plus these are different designs than what were previously visible. It looks like crud right now on the camera. It looks better in real life. <laughs> anyway. So that's done, that's done, and that basically took my whole day. Whoops, whoops, please. It's time for the SpongeBob joke of the day. Page 100 hype. <laughs> Why does Mr. Krabs have so many clocks in his house? Because time is money. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, soon, soon stuff acquired. Let's move on. There's some great Halloween stuff out already. I really like this. It's 25 bucks though, so I'm not gonna get it, but it lights up. I think that'd be really cool. Ooh, ha, ha. I kind of want um, outdoor lights that are on pegs that I can run along.